Maybe you've seen them traveling throughout the region, but haven't ever climbed aboard a BC Transit bus. Or maybe you've used public transit in other communities, but haven't been on a bus for years. Whether you're new or have some experience riding the bus, let's review the essentials of riding on the Kelowna Regional Transit System so that you can ride with confidence. Let's start with the basics. 1. Plan ahead. Decide which bus routes you will take to get you to your destination. 2. Arrive early. Get to your bus stop a few minutes before the bus is scheduled to arrive. Make sure that you're at the right stop and that you are traveling in the right direction. Check the bus stop sign to ensure that your bus route's number is listed. 3. Board and pay. Once the bus has stopped, board through the front door and swipe your pass. Insert your ticket or coins into the fare box beside the driver. Take a seat or stand and hold on. 4. Request your stop. About a block before the bus arrives at your stop, signal the bus driver that you want to get off by either pressing the stop button or pulling the cord that runs along the window. 5. Exit. If you can, exit through the rear door of the bus. Don't cross the street until after the bus has pulled away. Now, let's take a bit more in-depth look at aspects of the transit system, features of the bus and tools to help you plan your travels. The Kelowna Regional Transit System serves the entire central Okanagan region, serving the communities of Peachland, West Kelowna, West Bank First Nation, Kelowna, Lake Country, and some regional district of central Okanagan areas. The system, one of many BC transit systems around the province, consists of multiple bus routes that operate on fixed schedules, collectively called the conventional transit system, as well as paratransit service known as HandyDart, which is available in select communities. For those with permanent or temporary disabilities that prevent them from using the conventional transit system, HandyDart may be an option for you. HandyDart is a registration-based, accessible door-to-door -door shared transit service. Visit the Rider Info section of the BC Transit website to learn more about HandyDart. The information covered in this video focuses on the conventional transit system. However, many elements do carry over to the paratransit system. Conventional transit routes that serve urban areas, those with higher residential populations or more employment, tend to operate more frequently, start earlier and run later into the evening. Routes that serve suburban neighborhoods or outlying areas operate less frequently, with service ending earlier in the evenings. Service levels on most routes vary by time of day and day of the week. The most frequent service focused on the busiest travel times on weekdays, in the mornings and afternoons. BC Transit uses a variety of types and sizes of buses to accommodate different levels of demand. Full-sized heavy-duty buses, medium-duty buses, and smaller community buses. You may encounter any of these bus types on the routes you use most frequently. And yes, electric buses are coming to the Kelowna Regional Transit System. Planning your trip and navigating the transit system. Planning your transit trips has never been easier. You can plan your trip at home or on your mobile device using the BC Transit Next Ride application or a third party application such as Google Transit or Transit App. Alternately, visit the BC Transit website or pick a print rider's guide available on buses to view individual route schedules and maps. Transfers. Your trip may require that you travel on only one or multiple bus routes. With your transit pass, transfers are free. Plan ahead so that you know the location of the bus stop where you get off the bus to make your transfer to another route, checking the schedule to know when to expect your second bus. The trip planning tools available on Next Ride and in third party applications will provide you with all the details you need to make your full journey including help navigating on foot before and after your bus trip. Next Ride lets you plan your trips, see in real time where the bus is along the route, search for stops and service near your address or by stop number, view predicted bus arrival times at your stop, see how full the bus is and more. Trip planning. Select the drop down at the top left corner and enter your location and where you will be traveling to. 
You can choose your travel time based on your desired departure or arrival time. Select the date and time of your trip and then the Get Trip button to view options. Predicted Bus Arrival Time Also from the top left drop-down menu, select Enter Stop Code and enter the bus stop number displayed on the sign at your stop. You can also search by route from the same menu and select your stop on the map of your route to view the expected arrival time for the next bus. You can even set alerts so you don't miss it. Track the bus and monitor capacity. On the map of your route, the location of the bus is displayed with the bus icon. Watch as the bus moves along its route and approaches your stop. Select the bus to display if the passenger load is light, medium, or heavy. Set your favorite routes or trip times and request email alerts so you never miss your trip. Select the Next Ride button at the top of the home page to access great video tutorials on how to set up Next Ride on your mobile device and begin using its features. Third-party applications such as Google Transit and Transit App. You can access Google Transit directly from the BC Transit website or from within Google Maps by selecting Directions and then the Transit icon to launch the Google Transit Trip Planner. Enter your starting address or use your location from your mobile device's GPS. Enter your destination address, the nearest intersection or facility name. Google Maps will display the transit trip options available and include the walk time and directions for on-foot portions of your trip. Select your preferred trip for a detailed step-by-step -step itinerary. To receive guided notifications for each step of your trip, select the Start button. For return trips between the same address, simply reverse your origin and destination. Other third-party applications such as the popular Transit app are available through the Apple App Store or on Google Play. Choose your destination and these apps will provide you with transit options available to you at the time you wish to travel. Transit app will automatically display nearby transit services and departure times when accessed from your connected or data-enabled mobile device. In Transit App, select any of the nearby transit services to access a map of the route and estimated arrival time based on your current location. You can also pan around the map on the main page and Transit App will update showing you services in various areas nearest the purple icon on the screen. To plan trips, simply tap within the Where To field. Set your home and work locations to quickly access services for your most common trips. Use Transit App's Go function to share your location during your trips to help the app provide you with the most accurate schedule information possible. Your location also helps others by sharing the location of your bus. To learn more about Transit App, visit transitapp.com. Web Schedules and the Rider's Guide From the BC Transit website homepage, select the Schedules and Maps icon and search by route to navigate to individual route schedules and maps. Select the schedule for weekday, Saturday, or Sunday travel, and select your direction of travel for bi-directional routes. The schedule is listed in the table for various points along the route. These are typically transit exchanges or stops near major intersections. View the one that is closest to your starting point and look across the table for the time that is closest to when you wish to travel. Look down the column to determine when the bus will arrive closest to your destination or at a location where you will transfer to another bus. When traveling on multiple routes, make sure that you choose trip times that will get you to your destination when you need to arrive. Keep an eye on the customer advisories on the homepage or subscribe for email alerts to be informed about any upcoming changes to services. Printed guides are available in limited quantities on board buses and at select locations such as municipal halls. The guide includes individual schedules for each route in the system, as well as a network map, transit exchange maps, and information about fare prices, vendor locations, and other helpful information on using transit. Fare Products a trip on the Kelowna Regional Transit System can be paid for on board using exact change or with a ticket available in packs of 10. Transfers available from the driver allow you to travel for up to 90 minutes. Consider a day pass 
or monthly pass, which provide you with savings and allow you to ride as often as you wish during the period. Discounted senior and youth passes are available with valid identification, as are discounted college monthly and semester passes through participating schools. UBC Okanagan students automatically receive a semester pass known as U-Pass upon enrollment. Ask your employer about participating in the ProPass program, a discounted transit pass program for workplaces. Visit smarttrips.ca and select the Programs tab to learn more about ProPass or contact the Transit Services team at tranmanagement at colona.ca to learn more and start saving 10 to 15 percent on your monthly transit passes. Most fare products can be purchased at locations throughout the region, including at all municipal halls and at various community retailers. Visit the fare section on the BC Transit website to view a list of available fare products and current vendor locations. To help make transit more accessible for families and caregivers, children under four ride for free. And pass-holding adults can travel with up to four children aged 12 and under at no extra charge. Available to cash-paying riders on weekends as well. If you require monthly passes for multiple youth in your household, contact the City of Kelowna to ask about the Family Pass Maximum. Stay tuned for the launch of digital mobile ticketing on the Kelowna Regional Transit System. BC Transit will be introducing this new fare system soon, bringing increased convenience and ease of use for riders. The platform will enable transit customers to purchase and manage their fare products online and pay for travel and validate their fare while boarding via their mobile device or debit and credit cards. Boarding and Riding Full-sized buses are equipped with low floors for easy boarding and ramps that can be deployed to assist people using mobility aids. Smaller community buses are also equipped for accessible boarding. Have your fare ready before boarding and once aboard, insert your ticket or coins or swipe your pass in the fare box beside the driver then move toward the back of the bus. Passes are swiped in the reader atop the fare box. Tickets are inserted into the adjacent ticket slot and coins are deposited into the coin slot. The priority seating area located at the front of the bus is for people with disabilities, seniors or parents traveling with strollers. You may sit in this area, but if you are able, please give up your seat for people with disabilities or those traveling with strollers. On full-sized buses, you may remain standing while the bus is in motion. If you do so, hold on to the provided rails or straps. When bringing personal belongings aboard, place them on the floor at your feet or hang on to them. Food and beverages can be brought aboard as long as they are in closed, spill-proof containers. Please take your garbage with you when you leave the bus. To respect your fellow riders, please keep voice levels low and listen to music quietly using headphones. Keep feet off the seats and keep aisles and doorways clear. Enjoy your time aboard and pay attention to your surroundings so that you're prepared to signal for your stop. Buses are equipped with displays that show the location of the next stop the bus is approaching, which is called out over the onboard speakers. Next stop, Gordon at Lexington. To signal your stop, press the request a stop button by your seat or pull the cord that runs along the windows of the bus. Bike and ride. Combining cycling and transit is a great way to cover more ground. There are bike racks on the front of all Kelowna Regional Transit buses that can hold two bikes. The racks are easy to use and hold your bike securely. Before using the rack, notify the bus driver. If the rack is not already in its down position, squeeze the handle and lower the rack. Lift your bike and put the wheels into the wheel slots. Lift the spring-loaded arm over the front wheel of your bike, securing it at the top. As you are getting off the bus, let the driver know you will be grabbing your bike. Simply perform these same steps in reverse to take your bike from the rack. At the bus stop and transit exchanges. There are hundreds of bus stops in the region and many major transit facilities called exchanges where multiple bus routes converge, allowing for easy, convenient transfers between services. Find the location of bus stops on Next Ride. Google Transit or Transit app.
Many stops and all exchanges are outfitted with benches or shelters, or other amenities and features that enhance comfort and accessibility. The bus stop sign displays the stop's unique identification number and the number and names of the route or routes that serve the stop. Stops displaying the universal accessible symbol are equipped to facilitate ramp-assisted boarding for people using mobility devices. Select stops may be outfitted with schedule posters or system network maps mounted to shelters. When at your stop, be visible, and when you see your bus approaching, you can signal the driver using the transit wave. Stay back from the curb edge as the bus approaches and never run after a departing bus or cross the street before the bus you have gotten off of departs. Troubleshooting If you miss your bus or it hasn't arrived on schedule, Next Ride and third-party applications are great resources to see when the next bus is coming. If you have boarded the wrong bus or if you are lost, inform the driver and ask them how to get back on track. If you leave personal belongings on board, call the Transit Info Line 250-860-8121 or send a detailed inquiry through the BC Transit website's contact portal. If you feel uncomfortable while on board at any time, inform the driver of your concern. Public transit provides affordable, sustainable mobility that increases your personal freedom, opening opportunities for you to experience your community. Choose transit for your work or school trips, for running errands or attending appointments, or to access many of the amazing destinations within our beautiful region. The BC Transit website is your source for tons of great information about the Kelowna Regional Transit System. We're looking forward to welcoming you on board Kelowna Regional Transit.